Okay, thanks to UK Retro Games, thanks Mark. I, uh, I got a great pickup. Uh, this I got off the internet. And this is actually um, five, no, four packages of uh, single, or oh, this double density two sided um, three and a, three and a half uh, inch uh, discs. And uh, yeah, they are great for use with these old systems the MSX2, the Atari ST, and I believe also the Amiga. Uh, they use a different disk format than the PC. The PC started out using this disk format. Uh, these disks contain 720 kilobytes of, uh, of memory uh, if you format it at a IBM compatible format. And uh, these disks, they have uh, two holes. They have a hole here and they have a hole here. And these are the HD disks and they uh, contain 1.44 uh, megabytes of, of RAM uh, uh, and it's it's actually still in use in certain PCs uh, although most PCs come without the uh, disk drive uh, today uh, these days um, I keep a spare older system around with a disk drive to be able to transfer programs onto this for use in the older systems if you want to use these disks in the, uh, the high density disks in the uh, MSX, you're actually able to, uh, to format them at a 720 kilobytes, but the PC will get confused, so you have to put, put like these, <laughs> this is duct tape, duct tape, or like this. And uh, yeah, this is actually. Uh, the standard format, the HD format, that a lot of the older systems, the first generation of systems that use this three and a, three and a half inch uh, floppy, uh, couldn't use. So um, yeah, this is an example of one of the older uh, discs, uh, 3M discs, and this is actually a disc we used at university in '93. It's Family Madison. It's a, it's a computer-based training thing that actually helped uh, teaching. Um, uh, so yeah, this this is actually the type of disk that uh, you can just slide in the PC and format at sound 20 um, and it's indicated here uh, and you'll be able to use that. So I wanted to have some fresh disks because I've, I've been using this this old stack of disks and reusing them uh, uh, for use on this system, but you know, I wanted to have some 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 new discs uh, in order to check out if I'm able to transfer the the files that are contained in this to the floppy. And uh, <laughs> whoops, what's that? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, let's open it up. So these discs, 80 tracks. It doesn't list the uh, amount of kilobytes, but TDK discs with a single hole. So I'll be able to use these on the Amiga, on the Atari ST, and the uh, MSX, of course, without any uh, problems. And uh, if I insert these in the PC, at least uh, if I format them on the ST or the MSX, uh, I'll be able to uh, to just read and uh, save to these discs. So uh, yeah, great. I love the redness of this. So yeah, great, uh, great pickup. And uh, I got four of these. So uh, yeah, thanks to uh, UK Retro Games, Mark. Thanks for. Uh, pointing out the, the seller of these and uh, I'm very happy to be able to use new discs because they're brand new, they're sealed and everything so uh, yeah, I've, see, I've seen these actually these around on the net uh, in various other places since so uh, I think there must be a, a huge number of these available still and I think it's an excellent way to, to actually be able to use um, 
use these discs and I'm not sure I mean they, these, these have been produced a long time ago of course and uh, perhaps the mag magnetic uh, material has deteriorated even though they haven't been used but um, yeah wonder what what year they were produced but there's no indication of that on the package um, so yeah but great stuff and uh, yeah hopefully I'll be able to use these very successfully on both 8-bit and 16-bit micros that I have in the house Mark signing off this was just a very quick update package video disc <laughs> video so uh, yeah Mark signing off